When you get on the trails, you can read about them, but you don't know what to expect. You can take a photo of it, but you can't explain to people what you're actually seeing without them seeing it too. By the time you get to the end of the hike, you know, it, it looks like you're in a fairy tale. It's just, it's hard to put in towards the experience that you'll, you'll have coming here. It's just, it's kind of a once in a lifetime thing. <laughs> Three words I would use to describe Northern Ireland would definitely be breathtaking, mystical, adventurous. Some of my favorite things about traveling is one, the butterflies that you get in your stomach. The exposure to meeting new cultures, new faces, new people. The people of Northern Ireland, I would definitely say they're very giving. It really feels like you're welcomed into the culture, you know, you don't feel like an outcast. People want to know the real you. The longer you're here, the more you just kind of get used to the rain, you embrace it. You can tell that there's age and tradition. Every little nook and cranny is, you know, more interesting than the last. Stepping off the plane at George Best Airport, it was kind of awe-inspiring. Just seeing everything in, in real life. Northern Ireland is everything that I thought it would be and more. Um, I've experienced so much in my time here and got to meet so many people and changed a lot, so I love it. It's gonna make me cry. I'm sorry.